Hello. Now wasn't that smooth? I am happy with that start. Okay, so we're continuing on from the last stream, and we are we have built the and sent up the. Hello. Oh no. Now. Yes. Okay. Man, I am. I thought that was so smooth. Okay. Um. I'm chewing chewing gum. Maybe that's a dumb idea. We just had such a good start. Okay. Um. So we sent up the. What am I doing with my life? We sent up the Saya, this one, the Russian uh, module, the first module. And then we sent up the Unity module, the American, and docked them together like they did in real life. And we have uh, the correct inclination here on the International Space Station. And yeah, we are ready to, to send up the next one, which is the Svesta module. And after that, we send up the Unity. The Svesta was sent up in 2000. Yeah. It's at the rear of the station according to its normal route direction of travel. Maybe used to boost the station's orbit. It's only Russian conductors. Okay, yeah. So, from just reading that, I'm pretty sure we have to attach the the Svesta to the back here of the of the of the Saya. So using this offset docking port right here. I think that's where we we're going to put it. I I will just make sure, of course. But uh, let's start actually building it. Okay, I don't want to be sitting down here because and I'm kind of cut off, but. Let me see if I can. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Uh, but that's the top of my screen. So like that. Yeah. Then I can like. That seems better, right? Okay. Let's uh, let's just get started. So building the. Oh man, building the Svesta. Pure Ref. That's my my reference photos programs. Um, really good. Okay, so the Svesta seems like it's pretty much the same style, of course, uh, but looks very much like the the Sire module, but it's a bit different. Probably a lot different inside, and it's also newer, so it's it's. Probably a bit better in efficiency and stuff. Okay, um, and yeah, let me just uh, read what the Svesta is used for. Um, it made the station permanent, permanently, permanently habitable for the first time, adding life support for up to six crew and living quarters for two. Nice. Okay, so two people with the Svesta module could live on the on the station uh permanently that's pretty cool um and the svesta D dmsr computer handles the guidance navigation and control for the entire space station that's also pretty cool so it's a very important part and yeah so the hull of the svesta the, the outside of it was actually completed in 1985. And the major internal equipment installed by October 1986, but it was launched in launched in 2000, so that's a lot later. Okay, so let's get building this thing. Um, I think I'm just going to load up the, the Sire and, and kind of rework that. So I guess I made maybe a 
a little bit of a mistake building the Sire because I kind of made that habitable for Kerbals. But I mean, I wanted to look correct and not kind of be correct in that sense. Uh, so yeah, this is the Proton rocket and like way too big, but let's just uh, detach that and let's uh, see what we can do for for the Svesta. Uh, I was just looking at the at the quest joint airlock also before because I wanted to to see because it's just an airlock, so I wanted to see if that was sent up with the with the destiny module that's sent up after the, the Svesta. Uh, but it wasn't, it was sent up on its own, on a space shuttle. Um, but yeah, let's see what we need to do. Uh, I might actually just, I'm just contemplating starting a completely different craft because it's different enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. But I, I'll just take a look at the what I've built and see, so I can use the kind of same same modules. Okay, so let me copy the bottom. So the bottom with this docking port is maybe the the thing that's the least accurate, at least according to how it looks, because it's actually like it's one big docking port and then it's uh it's like the engine is pushed back like this and the docking port is like on the outside going down i think it looks like that so that's maybe the part that's the least accurate but i can't really do that in in ksp i can't make a docking port on the outside of an engine won't work so this is how i'm building it but i might make this just a uh, Subassembly, so I can copy that and put it on the bottom of the Svesta. So it's I know it's completely the same. So Russian Roscosmos spacecraft bottom one. Uh, yeah, and Svesta for now. Yeah, just so I know what it what it is. Yeah, let's start. Uh, okay, let me. Uh, yeah, reroot. So I want to reroot this to this, so I can also copy the top and say. Sire and Svesta head. So I say new, don't save. Uh, and then the drone core there. And then I take the head from that. Boom. And then we build what it looks like. So. What I maybe should have done with the Sire, but I'm just going to do with this, is a little, um, very small adapter just going in and then out again, just to make it look a bit like it's like it's a head, because it has like this round um, thing with the docking ports, and then it goes out like it's on top of that, like this kind of so it goes in so i'm just gonna simulate that by like like that and then i just want to check how many dark imports and where they sit to make it accurate so svesta where do your docking ports sit dockings no that's mm, design
so the front has three docking ports where the the sire had two and the bond the bond the the bottom has one docking port as we have established okay so it has one more four docking ports in total where the the sire had three i think yeah so let's i think it's just on the on either side I'm pretty sure. Now I want to make sure, of course. Um, that's what it does seem like. No, I don't want to see the interior. Let me see. Under construction. Yeah, it's in on either side. Okay. I like it when they say the Okay, oh, wait, it does actually put a docking cone on the deer port. Okay, okay, cool. So, we just want to have this symmetry like that. Nice. Mm, and then we go to the building part. Uh, main body. It actually has a very long taper, so oh, very long. So let me make it a bit more like. Nope. A bit more like. What am I looking for? This. Yeah. And then the body is bigger than the head, so it should be like that. Mm. Yeah, like that. And then it has like, no, but that's, uh, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. decisions, decisions. Kind of want to just make it like that. I don't really like the, like, the look of that, but what you're going to do. Looks fine. Okay, we'll do it like that. And then it has like this, and then a, a cylindrical body, but not that long. Like that. Yep. Yeah. Boom, boom. And then a taper out again. So let me find another one. And that is another one. Yeah, this exactly the right length, and then a longer one. So, nope. Yeah, like that. No, that's like. Meh. I don't like the the look of the. It's it 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 is a pressurized crew tube, but don't like this strutty thing we can use that for the middle of the of the ISS I think tackle flag uh, but I think maybe if we go under utility there's like a bigger crew thing hostel yeah that that's that's good and then let's have a, a small fuel tank if we can on the bottom let me just see the the size comparison from this to the to the uh, sire because I don't want it to be completely different. So it looks like all weird when it should be maybe the same size. I want to be correct on that. So ISS so yeah, and Swiss. Let me see if I can find them together. Hmm. Okay. 
So Okay, so the so the Sire so Svesta is basically just added on the bottom of the Sire, I think. But it's it is the same the same thickness width. So I just wanna stop saying sounds, you phone. Falcon 9 flight fifty launches tonight, carrying hepatite for Spain. It's six, six metric tons, it's almost the size of a city bus. Yep. Gonna watch that early tomorrow early tomorrow morning for me. But yeah, let me just save this and then take a look at how thick the, the sire is so I can make it good. Um oh wait, I can just take the let me just save actually. Spare star. It's called ISS underscore Svesta module and let's say three so subassembly if the bottom fits it's the same size yeah okay cool so it is let me just save and double check but it should be but I'm just I just want to be completely sure so that's the big Thing. and this is yeah okay that has that adapter out okay yeah that makes sense kind of ish ish not really I didn't really I think I think the the sire module should have been thicker all the all the way up but I think the way it turned out with all these thing all these components on the outside it kind of simulates that it's it's thicker like that so yeah, it doesn't matter it looks it looks good and that's the point the point is it that it it looks good so this big thing Ducking on the bottom of that, no head to. It actually ducks head to bottom. And that's where it's gonna be weird because this, when this thing ducks the head to this, the bottom of the of the sire, it's gonna be kind of offset, and that's that's gonna look weird and bad. But I don't think we can really do anything about that. But then at least when we when you put this on, I'll think I'll make sure to to flip this around so when if anything ducks to this, like the what are they called? I'm totally blacking out here. The Russian rocket is they're using today. Why can't I remember that? It's like... Why? I'm sorry, I just... I just... Russian rocket... I can't remember what it's called. Soyuz! The Soyuz! The Soyuz craft! That docks to the... All over the place on the Russian side of the ISS actually, but it ducks also to the bottom here. So when, if I build the, that and dock it to the bottom, I want to make sure that's also lined up. So I'll make sure to like, whoa, to have it flip like that. Okay. Burp. Burps. Sorry. Cool. So this is a much cleaner looking satellite part of module um, so it's much cleaner on the outside so what it does need what it do does do need does what grammar is uh, solar panels so we'll just add those 
Okay, I'll just flip that, uh, rotate it so it doesn't sit on the windows. Cool. And those solar panels I can just push in. Uh, I'm gonna sit there. And that's kind of it, I think. There's not really much else on the outside. And I all these details on the actual mod models on these from the mod uh, station expanded or whatever it's called kind of makes it look complicated in itself and I really like that. So maybe I'll put some batteries on the outside. Kind of looks like it has some of that. We'll put them on these these things. Maybe <clears throat> whoa. Maybe a fuel array. That looks complicated like stuff. And then of course maybe an antenna. Just like that maybe. That's on the crew hatch. Like that? Yeah. Cool. I think that's kind of it for the I was just I'm just looking here. It kind of I know it's a docking port, right? But it kind of looks like it, it has an engine inside its docking port on the on the head. And that's really weird to me because I'm pretty sure it it has an engine on the bottom. I, will, I just want to make sure it doesn't have an engine on the top as well. Not that it really matters. But I want to make sure. So Design front transfer chamber with one docking port. Assembly compartment. Sorry, I'm just sitting here reading, but uh, that's how it is. That's how it is. Um, hmm. And the aft end, the cylindrical transfer chamber. Okay. I see, okay, so this big part here, I just wanted to understand what I read there. So this big part here, it actually has like a chamber inside it, the width of, of this part, going all the way through it, and down to the docking port, that's like at the middle. But where's the, the engine then? Uh, I wanna just read up on that, but... um. But then, and then on the outside, all this that makes makes it like thicker or wider. Um, that's unpressurized, so that's that is just for storing stuff, I think. But that's unpressurized, so they can't move in that. As a okay, let. Me I'm, I just want to read if there really is an engine on the bottom of that. Uh, let me drag it out here. So, Okay, so I think it's actually only half of the what I just said 
the with the unpressurized part it's only like it's like cut in half so the half bottom half that's the outside that's uh, unpressurized and the top half has like crew uh quarters in it uh bottom it re it it looks like an engine and then what must be like i don't know fuel tanks self fuel oxid uh, let me let me let me let me study some stuff design has dark imports intended for data data as a composer ship it here only use to open and then I want to have the axes of the ISS plus because the axes like XYZ has names so let me find that So, let me see if I can find that axis. I know it's here somewhere. Uh, it says axis. AFT is the back, right? I know. I know that. That's all I know because I've used. that but what they call the nadir is bottom that's towards earth nadir okay and then it says here uh Sesta consists of a cylindrical work compartment where the crews work and live and which makes up the bulk of the module's volume that that's the bottom part and a small spherical transfer compartment that's what docks to the to the side uh located at the front with three docking ports cool so we got that right at and at the aft end the bottom end pretty sure that's the, the aft end so the aft is what is Back, right yeah cool and that's the way it is the aft end the cylindrical transfer chamber with one dock and port which is surrounded by the unpressurized cool for uh, confirmation uh, I want to see if engines electron Okay, so so I think we we got it pretty right. It's all of it, all of. Let me just control F search for engine. No engine is is mentioned. What about thrust? No thrust. What about aft? Aft is. In the aft transfer compartment, that's the window. Svesta became the third component when it docked to the aft port of Saya. Okay, got that. So I handed over the functions to Svesta. No more s progress dock to Svesta. Yeah, so it's not only. There are Soyuz and Progress. Those are the two different kinds. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an engine, right? F port, dockings. 
that's not what I want to know. Design. It's like engine. Uh, what's another word for engine? I mean, it does. It doesn't mention an engine at all at the bottom. Is that? But it should be able to boost its orbit up with the Svesta, so that's what confuses me. I'm pretty sure it should have an engine on the bottom there. Svesta. Svesta. Google search engine. Svesta M53. Yeah, that's the engine on it. But that's just pictures of the engine itself. Can I see it inside the the rocket? So I can see how it sits. So that's the engine in rocket. This live stream is just how to Google search with Casper. Um, but yeah, there's no like no mention of the of the engine at all. And I, it really confuses me because it's like the, both the engine and the and the docking port is like in the middle. The real significance of the ISS thruster test failure. A pair of rockets on the tore a whole season. Just a long article. I just want pictures showing me where the engines is, are. Engine, the engine is. Svesta engine. Svesta AFT engine. So are they like on this on either side of the of the port? That makes more sense to me. I don't see how two things can be in the same place. So let's do that. Let's uh But that does kind of mean we have to uh I just I thought that it kind of has to mean that we're redoing the The what's it called? The Sire module, Sire engine. But let me see how that engine works. I think that's kind of the same thing, right? Sire. Yeah, the Sire uh, has always also got engines on the on either side. Makes much much more sense. So engines, engines on the side, on either side of the craft. Oh, that's a really good three three D model. Very detailed. Nice. So this is a turbo squid upload. That's and you can buy 3D models, but it's really, really good. But that's not what this stream is about. Let's get fucking building. I'll just add. Okay, so I'll just put the the docking port here in the middle. Remove these weird things. Put that sounds like steam. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on silent mode because I'm streaming. 
and I'm professional like that. And I've totally not just been sitting reading for the past long time. So, uh, OBS I can get there and then this on top. Very nice. And then like that. Let's get building. I keep saying that, but then I do like five minutes of building. Okay. So I guess these, these are kind of the correct ones to use. They're kind of like that. And then it all, of course, it needs fuel. Um, so I'll just put some of that inside like that I guess and then just push it in bit of cheating but really not because there are also there is stuff inside of other stuff in real life that's how it works just getting a lot of notifications from SpaceX now my app mm, yeah and Elon Musk tweeting so let's just uh, rotate that a bit to be good. And yeah, I think we can't put that there because that's, you can uh, build on top of that. So we have to do like that. Then we make sure it's just the one, just to be sure. And yeah, so that's the Svesta. Let's save that. And then I think we're just gonna rebuild no oh, i'm i'm contemplating rebuilding the sire module and replacing that to have the correct like docking ports um but yeah i'm not i'm not really sure about that we'll see when i when i get there so like that we do need i forgot this last time to uh rcs we have thrusters it seems some i just have to on the bottom here from from this sub assembly so let's add on the top as well and on here nope there is also and we do want some of the other ones too um Like that and that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and let's then put RCS. We can also put that inside. I think we can do that without calling it cheating. I don't know if that's going to be a problem for when we're loading, loading the space station like part clipping it might not like that so we may have to do a bit of like cheating to make it ignore part clipping but again i'll say this again i want it to look like the space station i don't want it to be um working like a, a, a kerbal space program thing so yeah, mm -hmm. that's not good. Can I have it like, what this, I think it launched on a proton, right? Launch on a proton. Yeah, and it's the same Svesta proton.
It had a black fairing? Really? That's pretty cool. Proton. I can't do that, of course, but... Svesta 2000 launch. July, July. That's the white fairing. That's weird. I'll just... Whatever. It's the same fairing. That's all I... I wanted to know so I can... Where did that go? That got removed, of course, because I saved and reloaded other parts. Okay. So let me save this and open the Sire and just make a sub-assembly of the launch vehicle. Call that... Say, like... Like this call that a sub assembly and say proton rocket whoop don't say sigh Svesta let's put a proton rocket on this bad boy Almost. See, I want to. I wanted to be there in the same thing, you know, in the same fairing. Just because it's it kind of is in real life. That's not what. No. So that is kind of clipping, and I don't like that. So edit. Let me just go in, but up and then in. So yeah, it's basically the same. So let me just check the staging. This should all be good and fine and dandy. This, this, fairing this, 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 and then this. Yeah, Svesta, let's launch it. Let's launch the Svesta module. The third module to be attached to the space station and which allowed for permanent residence Waste of gum. Oh well. Um, so yeah, let's line it up with the ISS. Let's see where it is. Wait, what? <laughs> I just thought we were down there, but that's that's just Bill hanging out. So let's line it up here. Instantaneous launch window. As it would be in real life. Uh, maybe that's a bit early, but whatever. Let's uh, let's launch. Nice, very nice. The, the proton is a, a cool rocket. Let's uh, throttle back here. And the next module is the. Unity, no, Destiny. Unity was the second one. Destiny, right. I cannot. Destiny, yeah. And Destiny is also known as the US Lab and is the primary research facility for the United States. So, yeah. Good to know. Let's pitch over. It's a bit late. Oh, oh. gotta remember that we 
we want that inclination. Let's throttle up here. Two thirds throttle. But yeah, we want what is it? 56 inclination, 56 degrees from equator. Next stage. So, equatorial, equatorial, I think, from the, from the, what's it called? The the planet. That's equatorial, equatorial. I don't fucking know. That's zero, zero degrees. So it's like pointing up, and that's 45 degrees, and that's 50. 56 degrees. 90 degrees is a polar orbit. And that's what other satellites are in. So yeah. Four engines here on the second stage of the Proton rocket. Very overpowered in Kerbal standards. Let's throttle up all the way to the max because, because we can. And it will be faster that way. I just assumed that I could physics warp all the way to four times uh, physics, but oh, four times warp here. But it doesn't like that. But it survived actually pretty, pretty well. Okay, let's get that yellow aligned with the purple one and then when it's that then go over to it and just burn right on it right on target and then that should be the inclination perfect then let's get to about that yeah seems good then we catch up on it it's right in front of right in front of us here and that's where we lose our fairing very nice up to apps. Apogee, cool, go prograde, this is where we want our RCS to kick in. And, nice. And now we just wanna kind of catch up to the, to the ISS, oh that is close. That is a very nice, and then it should be getting closer. What is that intersect saying? It's getting bigger, this is getting smaller. Right down to 3.1 was the lowest. Nice. Here we go, meeting up, and when we are right here, I'll just go to retrograde, and, no wait, to target, no, target, where's my retrograde, oh man, I swooshed right past that, so I want to just burn target, towards the target. I think that was the end of that stage. Yep. Here we go. Next one. We do need a bit more uh, of this stage than the than the last one with the Sire module on top of the Proton rocket. We didn't even use this last stage, so I guess that shows how versatile and capable it is, or something clever. Yeah. Okay. Lined up, and we got an intersect of. <coughs> 300 meters. That is nice. Gonna swoosh right past it if we are not careful. Okay, here we go. Let's burn. And this is basically where I want to lose. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I want to lose the stage and I just use my RCS. So let me just get out of the way here. Out of the way of that engine block. And just go towards the, the station that is growing bigger and bigger and more beautiful.
Oh, I do not want to hit those panels. So let me get out of the way of those. Okay, so we want to hit that part, that port right there. So let's uh, switch to it and open that. Yeah, I don't want to send up another one and, and redo that. That'll be a waste of time. I think it's going to look fine. So how is that oriented? Not in a specific manner. Okay, let's do that. And then let's have this do the same orbit that way. And then I will know <coughs> exactly how I'll know uh, the one direction that I I need to go. And then I can kind of learn the because I'm not using the docking. I don't know if I'm making sense here. I don't think I am unless you know Kerbal Space Program. But there's this, this uh, docking mode here. <coughs> And I'm not using that because I'm used to the old controls, uh, which is just uh, W, like like the arrow keys or WSD, but on I, J, K, L, and then H and N is like my thrust up and down. That's what I'm used to. So <laughs> I'm an old schooler. Mm. Okay, so and then go towards it. I think. Okay, we do need to be slow and careful and beautiful here. There we go. So, yeah, of course, it isn't lined up like it is in real life. And I kind of don't like that. But at the same time, I really don't want to send up another Svesta, no, Saya, right now. But then again, but then again, um, having, if I keep building on it, it'll be more and more difficult. It, it will keep being more difficult to switch out the, the module to be the correct one. Um, so yeah, yeah. I think I'm just gonna. Yeah, let me go back to the space center and just quickly send up a correct version of the Saya and dock that, and then we can put on the Destiny, and then after that, it's the quest. Destiny is just a lab. Quest is like. Um, like a, a docking adapter thing, I think, or it might be, it might be like an, oh yeah, it, it's an airlock, it's an airlock, so the, so that the American astronauts can get out, uh, before they had to go out through the space shuttle when that was docked and they couldn't get out on an, uh, EVA extra vehicular activity um, without the, the space shuttle being docked. But with the quest module, they can. So yeah, Sire module, let's fix it. Why don't I just go Svesta and then I go sub assemblies and then okay, I gay. No, I don't. Um, then I go this and this, and I say Ross Cosmos spacecraft bottom the correct one, and then I s delete this one. And then I load without saving the Sire. <coughs> oh, 
and then I can quickly just switch it out and launch it and be fine and dandy. So this, get rid of this, put on the correct one, put on this and ready to launch the, the Proton with the Sire again. And then luckily, luckily enough, the the destiny module, the next American module, is very simple. It's just like a tube with docking ports on the end, and then I think one docking port on one side might have on yeah, just one docking port on one side. That's kind of it. In terms of Kerbal Space Program, what I need to build. It's quite simple. And then of course the the next module again, the quest is simply an airlock so that's also a very small part i think and i i might just send that up on a, a stock uh on a stock space shuttle just to have a bit of fun with that because that's just a small thing but we'll see let's just launch this my face lagging I think it might be I think also code space program might be lagging okay here we go I am for some reason time warping and very fast and all sorts of stuff that I don't want also a problem with the the sire it's a people it's a command module that is the main thing, so it wants to put Kerbals in. So let me just reroute to this, so it doesn't want to put Kerbals in by default, I think. But for now, man, okay, this is the correct one. What does it say here? Elon Musk, Falcon 9 launches tonight. Yeah, that's what I read. Tonight. Also, why the duplicates? I think. I think that's it. Yeah. Let's go again. Let's go again. Correct this time. And. Launch. Three. Two, one. Ooh. Ba 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 da 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 da. Throttle back. And ba. Then we're going fast. That is not so good. It is bad. Ba ba ba. Subtle, solid rocket. Out in three, two, one, go. Nice. Let's tip over a little bit more. Oh, we don't want to tip. Like, we don't want to do a flip. But I think that is good. Let's throw it up so we don't lose speed. That's bad for our delta V. Next stage. I'm just sitting on my phone. Hey, we got another one tuned in. Hello. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just sending up a replay, and I'm doing all sorts of bad stuff here. I'm sending up a replacement for the Sire module I sent up first because I noticed an error. But yeah, otherwise the the space station building is being done in a very good manner. It is going very well. And then after I've just sent up this replacement and deorbited the, the bad one, um, 
Then uh, we're sending up the American Destiny module, which is very, very simple, just a tube with dark imports on. That's kind of it. And then after that, there's the also American, I think, um, Alloc. I don't think I know. Uh, Alloc module, which is, which is called Quest, which enabled the uh, American astronauts to to go on spacewalks without having to use the um, space shuttle. They had to kind of go through that before they sent up the quest in 2001, I think. The ma last module I sent up was the Svesta, which is the third module that was sent up in two 2000, and that kind of enabled um, enabled permanent uh, living on the ISS. Before that, uh, people couldn't, astronauts and cosmonauts couldn't live on the, the ISS permanently. Am I not in space yet? Yeah, I am. And yeah, and then I think after that, we did actually send up the respective astronauts and cosmonauts. Here we go, off of the fairing because we're out of atmosphere, so that doesn't need to be protected. And then we just go prograde and burn. So we can get into a nice orbit here. And actually, I think. I prefer catching up with the space station, but since it's so... I'm still gonna catch up with it because then I can have like... I mentioned in the in the last stream, I wanna have like a... A space junk orbit. Like a 270. So where I just leave the... The spent stages. Um... Yeah, so that doesn't clutter up like the orbit that I'm building the, the ISS in. Not that it really matters in, in Kerbal Space Program, but it's kind of what they do in real life. So, why not? Uh, just 270, and then just leave this stage. And then we do have another stage. I'm just going to burn out a little bit more. Because I don't think I have very much RCS on this one. Wait, where are we? Very much opposite. That's going to take a long time to catch up. Man. At least we're above a certain altitude so we can time warp, time warp pre pretty quickly. But I'm impatient, so let's go retrograde. Oh man, it turned out. What? Huh, that's below a certain altitude. 240. The more you know. Whoa. -da -da. Just catching up to the ISS here. So we can dock the replacement SIA module. Uh, let's see. Launch tomorrow of the Falcon 9 Hippasat. Yep, ready for that. Go, 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 catch up a little faster. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna go like this. So it'll be a bit faster to catch up. Okay, Svesta. 
do I have to rename it every time I dock a new mod module on it? Man, okay, catching up here, so let's burn prograde to get out to the to the orbit height of that. And here we go. That's a very close encounter. Getting closer and closer and pretty close considering we don't have the correct in, uh, inclination. Really? 1.6? Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. I'm I'm good. <laughs> um, Dino, we're not going to go normal. Just uh, want to do the inclination right here. So that's going to be further away, but then we can... What? Totally ruined that. But nonetheless, it will be better for when we get closer. So let me see. Does that need a... Yeah, 2. 2.4 kilometers. Nice. And then when we get to here, we do the regular stuff that we do when we dock. So we want to cancel out the relative velocity target. Don't crash on me. You never do that. You're a good stable boy. Okay. Boy. Where's the... Okay. Nice. Four, three hundred meters, two hundred meters. So yeah, the markers are on top of each other. One, one hundred meters. That's pretty good. There it is. Getting closer, closer. Oh, it's really coming together, this thing, huh? Okay, let's see. We want to go towards it, so let's go. That doesn't work. Let's go target. Ten kilometers, t ten kilometers. No, ten meters per second though is pretty fast. So let's fix that. Oh, this is all over the place. Very bad, very, very bad. Okay, but now we are pretty much still uh, compared to this. So let's undock the the good. Um, can I not undock, right? Undock. Let's just move that out of the way. Just a bit. This is what we want to keep. This is the Svesta module that we want to keep. Yeah, like that. That is pretty good. And then we want to get rid of this uh, Sire module, the first one to be sent up, because I made a bad here at the bottom. Um, yeah, kind of just misinterpreted what I saw on the pictures. So let's uh, get rid of this. And let's see from the orbit what does that say let's just deorbit this thing so get away from all these good things you bad you bad bad thing so I want to have that get down to what it ran out really please let me have enough RCS to get Below the 70, yeah, here we go. So that's that's a deorbit, cool. Uh, let me just leave that be and switch to these. Nope, what? Not, nope. 
Mm. Switch to. Got it. Okay, and this is the what module? This is the one I just undocked. No, this is the Unity module, the second part to be sent out. This is confusing because now I have three parts I want to take care of. Okay. I want to go towards the target here. Because I'm kind of drifting away from that. So get back to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I'm really hungry right now, man. Okay, I want to make sure I don't use all my monoprop. So let's uh, let's go. And then let's get rid of this big clunky whatever thing before that does any more bad stuff to us. Let's get down under. Let's see, we want to talk to the... We want our bottom to be docked to the top of that, yeah. So we kind of want to be going on top of this, turned, I think, like that. That seems about right. Drifting towards it. Let me just control from this docking port and see it, that I go towards it. Oh man, what? I just rammed it. Really? That just happened. Man, I guess I couldn't really see the distance. And then I just ran out of mount props, so I have to go with this. Targeting this, okay. Go, go, go. Uh, and now, of course, I have people in this, which is also a mistake. But. Of course, everything is just going wrong because I'm doing this on a live stream. Um, yeah, that's that's the reason. Gotta be really focused here. Uh, I 
rammed it again. And that is dumb. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yes, yes. Come on. And now we just take this to this unity and dock that on the top of this. Yes. Okay. Let's get to it. We have very little mono prop, so let's see how the unity module is doing. Also very bad. Let's use the engines then. We should have a bit of fuel there. Uh, target. Let me use the whatever talk I have. Okay, here we go, getting closer, closer to this very little, very small Unity module. Okay, let's open the hatch here at the front, open shield. And let's actually take control of the Unity and dock that. That'll probably be easier. Okay, was that the, the bottom docked to the... Now I just want to make sure, uh, of course, Unity with the bottom, yeah, that, yes, because this is the offset part and that's, yeah, okay, set as target, control from here, point to target, That should be very smooth. As far as I can see, that is pretty on point. Nice. Very nice. So there we have it. And let me just press one. Nice. Okay. So that there is the correct... Uh, International Space Station as it looked in 2000 without those kerbals in it they were sent up later people uh, but yeah so that's how it looked latest added part this one Svesta now we want to have the very simple um Destiny module added, and that was flown there in two thousand, right? Yeah, two thousand one. I bought the space shuttle. Okay, two thousand one. So let's let's build the the destiny. That's gonna be taking. Five minutes. So we have been streaming for one twenty. So let's see if that takes five minutes. Uh, let's make sure we don't put kerbals in it. So like this, and then a docking port. Docking port. Get up here. And then it's like a big, just a lab. So let's make it the actual lab. Let's have a, a 
adapter. I hope I oh I hope I made the correct insulated uh, mounts here on the other ones. I don't I think I changed all of them. And then then it's just a lab. But it doesn't have windows though, does it? I don't see any. So I kind of just want to make it like more like this or maybe even more No, no, no. See, it's it's kind of just a, a clean tube with paneling. So it's very much like Like that and like, like imagine this without windows and without these beams on, on top. Wait, what? That's the bottom. So it's kind of very much snow, but mm, yeah, let me just, let's just make it the lab, right? Yeah. Because it is called the, the lab. So that, and then it has like a, a docking port, it seems. I want to check it on the Wikipedia, of course. Laboratory structure. Right, section. Comprises three cylindrical sections and two and comes to contain a hatch opening through which astronauts enter and exit the module. The aft port destiny is connected to the forward port of node 1. Yes. And the forward port of destiny is connected to the aft port of node 2. And node 2 we haven't launched yet. Node 1 is also the unity. And node 2 is harmony. And we haven't noticed that yet. So the ends are colored blue and white, respectively, for the crew to navigate easily. Well, that's that's neat. That's probably inside, though, right? Yeah. Um, each of the two berthing ports on Destiny contains a hatch. Both hatches are normally open and remain open unless a situation arises. Yeah. Has a telescope on the open. Uh, so it has a window, but I want to see because I have a picture where it has like a docking port on the side. So I want to I want to read if it if it really has one. Uh, there's a thing we there's a thing we're missing, the Canada arm, and I I'm just gonna turn to my video here of from Earth Station Alpha YouTube channel who made a well at least posted a 3D modeling a 3D video showing the the time lapse of the ISS assembly so that's Unity and then there's Vesta okay and then actually there's a C1 truss element pressurized mating adapter 3 and then the P6 truss segment with big solar panels, then Destiny, and then the Destiny laboratory. Okay, so actually before we launch the Destiny, because I got to make sure, because the, the thing I'm looking at on the Wikipedia about ISS is just the pressurized modules in order. And I want to build the, the other parts too. So what I want to do after the Svesta is a truss element a truss segment a truss segment and then um i can build this again let me just make a new one 
or load uh, the Unity. Because you see this thing on the Unity, this weird offset dock import thing. Another one of those, what, that was weird. Uh, like that, just that bit. That got docked to the other side of the Unity. So it, the Unity had, you see all these, this is actually the Unity. So another one got docked to like the side, the bottom towards Earth. So that's that's down here. Another one of those got yeah you you get it. Um, and then a truss on the top, like a, a structural element, where later another truss segment got added, which had solar panels. Th those huge solar panels that you know they like that are uh what do you call that like you know the iss from those big ones and then a lot of big of those heat dispensing what are they called these thermal control systems like radius those got added also on the truss segment yeah so uh yeah i think that's actually a project a, a project for a future future part of this this uh, little episode thing series so yeah what we've done today is basically just add uh Add the Svesta, build and add the Svesta, and then because I fucked up the the Saya, what is this? Oh, so what what I called the International Space Station that's deorbiting right now. Let's just see that burn up. But yeah, put on Svesta. Didn't put on Destiny because I fucked up Sire, so I replaced that also. So yeah, that's what I got done. In one hour. Let's uh, deal with this monstrosity. That has the wrong end. Okay. Uh, so actually it doesn't look like it's gonna be... Hitting the ground. Ah, let's see it burn up. Let's just watch that. If it actually will burn. I don't know. Maybe it won't get low enough. Well, I can help it. I do have. Oh, well, it will actually. Huh. Oh, that look, looks really cool with the the antennas, like the red parts that come out of that. Man, please explode because if if stuff doesn't explode, that's not gonna be cool. You see that coming out from the antennas? Yeah, the <laughs> those went there. Okay, here we go, coming in hot, but it's not exploding. Sad. I think it's because it went like this, and then it like it had more aerodynamic drag, and it kind of bleeded off more speed than the heat could kind of for the heat to rise enough. So it if it went like this, maybe that it would have concentrated the heat on this part, and then that would explode, and then the next part. It's kind of how it works in in KSP. Let's see if I can actually land it. I don't think I can. No, there's no... Uh, 
Deployment would destroy part. Ja, ah, ja. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's going very slow. It's like, I think it's I think it's very light. It's just big because it's, it has like almost no mass. Okay, here we go. Well, that was satisfying. So let's go to the tracking station and just take a look at the what we've built so far as as I shut the stream down. Oh, hello. Blue, blue edit. Is that what it says? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Kind of hard because I have like three screens going, so don't really look out there. But hi, welcome, welcome to the stream stream that I'm now ending. Sadly, but I kind of did what I didn't do all the things that I wanted to do, but. Yeah, uh, I got some stuff done, and let's take a look at it. I have to get up early tomorrow to watch the SpaceX launch, so... That's how life is, now and again. But then uh, we're gonna continue tomorrow. And I will add the Destiny module, and I will add the Quest module. But before I add those, I will add the Trust segment that's trust sex segments that has the big solar panels so yeah big solar panels will go right here on this docking port small uh, another one of those offset docking ports will go right here and then the destiny will go I think I don't know actually. We'll f we'll find out tomorrow, but yeah, this is what we've got so far of the ISS. It's looking very simple right now, but it's coming together very nicely. It takes some time because I want to do it accurate to how it was. I'm kind of feeling like I want to deorbit these two guys. Let's uh, can exit module has no hatch. Come on, where are these guys? Where are they? Let's see. Uh, module has no hatch. You have no hatch. Uh, few. Okay, they're definitely sitting in something like this. So let's interior overlay. Let's see if we can see them. Yeah, here they are. So, can I transfer them? I think I need to have the port and kind of right click on that. Or maybe normal click. But where's the port though? That's the question. Uh, is it on the bottom? What? Can I not transfer them? That's weird. Maybe if I click on a port on another, another vessel here. Let's see. If there even is. Something. I might have put docking ports all over the place. On all these things that has. That have ports. Or maybe. Crew hatch. Yeah. Crew hatch. I just saw something. That set crew hatch. 
I think. Where was that? That was right here, right? Right? Crew hatch, there. Empty. So I can't click on this and and transfer them. I'll just hide them. That's the the solution. Okay, that was a bit of a boring end to a successful stream, I think. Uh, a few people came and and took a look and went again. Blue edit said hi. Action on an all time high here on the Night Runner channel. But yeah, I had fun. And that's the important part. That's kind of why I'm doing this. So, uh, yeah. One and a half hour stream. Kind of the same thing as the other one. Part two. Done. I'm just trying to find a segue. But I kind of really don't need to wait for the game to quit. So, yeah. I just want to say uh, thanks for watching. And you can check out Brain Working. You can check out my my other channel on that's uh, up up there in the corner there should be a little eye you can click and you can click that should be a link to a channel called space quickie that's where i do some quick science stuff some quick uh knowledge about space that will like pour into your brain in about one two three minutes kind of i've done one video I'm working on the next one and I have planned at least five more uh, that I know what to, to do. So I'm working hard on that and I'm really pumped for that. Right now I'm really tired so I know you can't see that. But I'm really excited about that. And yeah, you can also follow me on Twitter to know when I stream and when I upload other videos too. And you can all, that's at uh, nr underscore nightrunner. You can also add, follow the Space Quickie Twitter, which is just at Space Quickie. And yeah, that took a long time to get out to the main menu. Um, yeah, thanks. I links for for all that down below also. So don't worry about that. And also a link to my Tumblr, where I just post uh, photos of stuff like three D models uh, rendering art artsy stuff so you can take a look at that if you want but yeah all that is down below and thanks for for watching and i will see you in the next video which will which will either be on uh, part three of this um live streaming thing or something else that i decide to do i promise i will be doing the the speed modeling of the classic doctors. I've been doing all the all the new Who doctors uh, from Doctor Who. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can see that on my channel. I'm speed modeling the the doctors in an isometric style, low poly. I will be doing the classic doctors soon, starting from the first doctor and not going backwards like I did with the the new doctors. Just because I I've, I'm catching up on on classic Who right now. And I've only watched up until the fourth Doctor. I'm almost done with him, so I want to do I want to do them justice. So I want to kind of do a picture that I I know how they are as a Doctor, so it fits them. So I'll be going from the first Doctor and up there. So yeah, I guess that's all I wanted to say. Long out long long outro, but um. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. That <laughs> the camera just shut off and turned on right as I did that. But yeah, uh, can I do? Yeah, I guess either of those will do. But yeah, now I'm just talking 
while there's a picture. That's weird. Also, I I just realized I didn't have sound on in KSP, right? Fuck it. Thanks for watching.